Is that a good thumbnail? You think like, oh, like, oh, like that. Yes, I did go true to size and they're pretty comfortable for the most part. There's honestly a lot of extra toe space in there. I would almost say that it's like a half size up. Going true to size is like a half size. You know what I mean? It, like they run a half size big, I guess. That's not to say that I would go a half size down on these because I don't know how big of a difference a half size down on these is actually gonna be. That's the thing, you know with these shoes, they, they all run all over the place. I would just say go true to size. And if you do have a wide foot, because if you look, look, that's a narrow shoe. But if you, again, if, I forgot what I was saying. If you go a half size up, then you know just be aware that you're probably going to get the extra space on the sides but you're going to get that extra toe space too and it's, it's going to be a good amount just know that huh these originally retailed for 90 dollars this specific color in this like navy colorway is a j crew exclusive and so they they kind of fluctuate i don't even know if they're actually producing the shoes anymore but they are still for sale as of recording this video if you go look at some of the other colorways that for sure aren't being produced anymore they're they're pretty much just sitting they're dead stock for the most part so you can get these shoes pretty cheap actually i just i just looked at my notes and i got these for 62 dollars plus Plus tax so a little bit over 70 after everything was said and done so a deal don't pay a lot for these now if you go look around these are still available in a lot of places like stadium goods has brand new pairs of these of available obviously you want to shop around and as always avoid amazon because one fakes are rampant on there and two the prices are just as crazy the fakes honestly might be better than these i ain't even gonna lie but speaking of fakes let's talk about the materials on these things now watch a few reviews and the swoosh leather that swoosh leather right there it's fake let's talk about the rest of the uppers leather it's uh it's it's something it's differently different it really ain't that great a quality leather this is like super blown out so i'm gonna adjust this slightly sorry about the change and that's probably that's probably gonna be better for you to look at the shoes look at that see what was i saying oh yeah the materials i've been i've been beating these boys up i wore them to mexico i was on a beach with them i was in the streets with them i was everywhere i definitely put them to a, a pretty hard test and they cleaned up pretty easily i mean if you look at the toe box creasing look i was doing look i sure did you see that it's not bad that crease right there does not that bad at all they actually do handle creasing pretty dang well what, what are you doing are you expecting these to be comfortable be honest with yourself do these look like a really comfortable shoe they slip on easily sure but these things are flat there's a flat footed shoe with i haven't even pulled the sole out the insole out yet but let me snatch this y'all hear that y'all like asmr look at that that's pretty dang thin that's that's thin you can replace it probably your best bet this midsole and this outsole hard just stiff now i gotta wrestle this insole back in here oh actually not too bad don't expect much comfort out of these bad boys you ever wore vans less comfortable vans actually aren't that uncomfortable if i'm being honest like the authentics not that bad these hurt think blazers honestly as far as like so foot support just think nike blazers pretty much the same thing one thing i really do love about this shoe though is that it styles very easily it's the j crew look really you like j crew you're gonna like these if, if that's kind of how you dress this is a shoe for you put some slacks on and a t-shirt bada boom bada bang done maybe a jacket whatever but for the most part the, why am i facing this way here we're, we're back and that's if you want a shoe that's not the air force one that's definitely a lot more casual not as bulky could be a good option there are definitely other options out there but this, this is not bad we got like that old school tennis shoe kind of bottom to it kind of like where have we seen that where have i seen that before you see this is probably like an awesome shoe for spring summer i didn't even talk about the suede but i don't even think you really need to know it's leather it's some suede on there i wear the shit out of these right now it's been getting warmer too so i've just been slip slop slip slop don't run out in the streets crazy to go buy a pair of these but if you see a pair on sale or you see them in a decent price range and you've been kind of on the fence about it i would probably go ahead and buy it at that point don't pay a premium so that that's where they're at okay i'll see you in the next one